Hello, friends, family, and other creatures of the mountains. It's me, the goat, Billy. Today I will be taking you on day one of my first solo backpacking adventure. Destination, Elk Lakes. To access Elk Lakes Provincial Park from British Columbia, we must first take Elk River Forest Service Road for about 62 kilometers. The Forest Service Road starts about 5 kilometers north of Elkford. It's a wide gravel road that's in fairly good condition. My two-wheel drive Jetta had no issues getting there. It can be a bit washboardy at times, and there can be some pretty gnarly rocks, along with some deep potholes on the road. The road follows the valley, so there aren't many turns, and the elevation is consistently gradual. As long as you take your time, and you are attentive, any vehicle should be able to access this area. The traffic was quite light despite it being the heart of summer. I was here the day prior, but I made a terrible mistake. I forgot my bear spray and my buck knife. Nearing the trailhead, I saw a juvenile grizzly bear on the side of the road. I felt like that was an ominous sign and a signal for me to turn back and correct my blunder. I was definitely distraught considering it took me five hours to get there. At least I got some cool footage of wild horses on the way back, so it wasn't all for nothing. Here's a quick overview of the Forest Service Road, 62 kilometers total. Here's the trailhead and the parking lot. There's the Lower Elk Lake Campground. There's the viewpoint. It's a quick little hike to the campground. It's only 1.2 kilometers. And I'm gonna go to the viewpoint today and that's another two kilometers or so. I drove for over 15 hours in the past two days so I was a little fatigued from the drive, but I felt like I still needed to get a little hike in, even though I was feeling lazy. It looks like a spectacular viewpoint according to the satellite map. Hope it's the same in real life. Bits of a rainy adventure today. Oh boy. Those have to be the nicest pit toilets I've ever seen. You could keep a cabin warm all winter with that amount of firewood. The cabin here is run by the Alpine Club of Canada. Sometimes I like to sing the Don't Get Lurked by a Bear song. Yup, yup, ba da boot da da do. I'm gonna scare the crap out of you, bear. All these little daisies. Let's take a detour. Oh, this is beautiful. Gorgeous. Astonishing. So this is where the Elk River starts. That's pretty neat.
Lay treats. Soggy hire. Keep hot, calm, and mine on. Put back where I find ye. Except on that tree there. This place is perfect for people who haven't tried out backpacking before. It's a short distance from the parking lot to the backcountry campsite. From here you can bring a day bag and go on several different hikes, which is what I'll be doing. It would be a great idea to bring a heavier bag to indulge in more luxurious foods and items. There are several food storage lockers here. These are nice because you don't have to worry about hanging up a dry bag or dealing with rodents. Under quilts. Hello. It's time to make some dinner. This is my first time trying out a Grail Geopress. It has a filter built right into the water bottle. I've never seen anything like this before, which made me curious about how well it worked. Turns out I like it much more than the old pump filters. All I had to do was fill up the external water bottle and lean into the internal water bottle with my body weight. It doesn't filter faster when I tried to force it to go quicker. It took about 30 seconds to fill up 800 milliliters with minimal effort. I am going to rehydrate a package of spicy grilled chicken curry. This is one of my favorites. If I am to be candid, I am a fiend for anything curry related. I paired this meal with peppermint tea. I feel like that complemented the piney smells. Good. Now it's time for a little adventure. I'm going to go to the viewpoint. Billy deep bop ba da ba dee beep Skippity bop Sheepity beep If you go ba I will go wap Bop ba dee bop ba la da bop I am a bop ba bop bop Bopity bop ba shippity beep Skippity beep bop ba dippity beep
I'm ready for the rain, baby. Biddly beep bop a deep de jeep. Skippity beep bop a beepily beep. Beedly bop, boppity beep, bop a jeep, beep, beepity beep, beep. I just really hope tomorrow's a nice, nice day. Got to see a lot of wildlife last night. Saw a little grizzly bear. Uh, probably like two dozen nanes. Might have seen a cougar. Don't want to be spookling you. If I do so, run away. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. The viewpoint's over here. The trail is becoming somewhat overgrown. I'm almost there. Beedly beep bop, boppily boop, skippity beep on my doppily jupe. I'm getting wet everywhere. It's in my hair. I don't care. There's the upper elk lake. The speed of the viewpoint. Now isn't that something? Gotta unleash your inner goat. Bah! Oh, super nice. First real backpacking adventure of the season too, which is nice. Ooh. It's slippery. It's slippery.
Beepily beep bop bop boppily boop. Beepily bop, skippity boop. Shippity beep bop ba da bop bop. Yippity beep, skippity beep. Hop pop patty beep beep ba doop. Abba la ba ba doop. Saw a jumper. They're out there, man. They're out there. Why not? That was a bit of a soggy adventure. I made it back, but I was soaked from the knee down. That's okay. I'll dry off tonight, right? Thank you for joining me on another astonishing adventure. Stay tuned for weekly hiking and backpacking videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Next week, I will be uploading part two of this spectacular adventure. I will be making my way to Fox Lake, then shortly after, Frozen Lake. I will be zigzagging between two provinces and walking directly on the Continental Divide. Anyways, I hope you all have a great day. Bye for now. I think I'll just hunker down and go to sleep. Sleep time.